to Praise Talk. My name is Praise Asimota. And I'm Angela Bavel. It almost sounds like a song, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> well, praise the Lord. We're here again. And um, God has been good. He's been, he's been awesome. He has. We just finished um, the convention at World of Angelus in Bible Church <laughs> where we worship. Actually, all of us worship there. Yes. It's going to be on set today. Yes. And um, God, was, God showed up. He in, did. in an awesome way. He did. It was and, marvelous. Uh, I want to introduce Dickiness Angela Pavel. <laughs> <laughs> and Pastor Praise. <laughs> that has a wonderful yeah, ring. Yeah, God is God is worthy. <laughs> he is. Um, you know, we weren't here last week and I um, hope you were blessed by the that we brought to you um, with Apostle Akintaya Sam Jolly. And just as a reminder that their program goes on this weekend, so make it a date. And the unchanging God of fire would visit your life Amen, in an awesome indeed. way. Amen. In Jesus' name. Now, I thought about today and yes. um, what is it that we need to bring to our viewers. Because we always make sure that we bring something to you that would equip you, challenge you, and take you to where you are going to fulfill the destiny that yes. God has in store for you. Or the destiny that God has planned. The Bible tells us in Psalm 139 mm. that even before we were born, God had written Absolutely. the plan of our lives. And he had closed the book, you know. And he did, and he, he not just that, he even sat there mm. while we were on our mother's breast. Indeed. Making sure that we came out perfect. Indeed. Indeed. Making sure for that we came out perfect. what he has already planned Amen. for the future. And I want to let you know that he has not failed. He will not fail and Amen. he will never fail. And you just need to hold on to him. You know, the woman with the issue of blood kept pressing on until she touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Amen. I want you to keep pressing on. Keep your vision at a place where you can keep checking on, you know, what is it and where you're going mm. and where you are at this moment. And that's why we have... Reverend Dorit right here in the studio with us again. She's been with us before and she's a, a personal coach and trainer and she will be talking to you and I. Reverend Dorit, you're welcome again to Thank Praise Talk. Thank you very much. God bless you. you. You're welcome. You know, you're such an inspiration. She's one person that is, she's always smiling. <laughs> <laughs> even, when, even when it's not going well, she has a you know, she has yeah. a smile, just an encouraging smile on her face. Mm. And mm. even when you, you, you know, you might be talking to her with something that you might think, oh, it's just, but it's good. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Oh, bless the Lord for your life because God brings people in mm. your life that he does. would encourage you. And just in case you're around people that are not encouraging to you, just mm. ask God to relocate to you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You know. Um, Aaron Dog, we're going to talk about personal development mm. today. Okay. And, um, you know, it's a time of the year when people think that, you know, we it's time to develop yourself probably towards the end of the year to refocus your mind where you're going um, to start a new year or, or praise maybe they're asking themselves why hasn't things progressed from where they from, from where they, they are planned. that's right why you haven't know? they moved forward that's why true. why haven't I got that promotion mm. you know why um, why can't I be manager just me maybe you're in that place oh, you they're know asking why yes. is everybody else moving forward yeah. but me exactly Exactly, and we're hoping that Reverend Dorrit will, is going to give you some key tips here and Indeed. advice that will help you to move forward in your life and, yeah. and achieve those goals Amen. that God has placed before you. Amen. Now, Reverend Dorrit, mm. one of the first questions I'm going to ask you is how often should one assess their lives? Well, I think that one should assess their lives, you know, very frequently. Mm. Okay. At least maybe on a, every three months. Mm. Every three months? Yeah. Because then you're then monitoring, and, you know, mm. are you pursuing? Am I in the right place? Mm. Am I achieving my goals and mm. my dreams? If you're not, then when you, you know, you sit back and you review the whole process, then you can hopefully make the necessary changes that need to be made. Right. Because, you know, as God is making us younger every day. Indeed. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but we still, you know, must plan yes. to succeed. Mm. Yeah. And that's what I think that's what gives me that buzz. Right. You know, to know that, well, 
We're only here once. Mm -hmm. So while we are here, we've got to make the most out of life. That's absolutely. True. Aspire to be the best. Aspire to have the best. Mm, absolutely. Aspire to be who God has said that we are. Yes. Suppose that person has never sat down to think that where is God? What does one? What does God want to make out of me? Mm -hmm. How can someone put themselves in that place? You know, because I realize that we live life every day. You wait, you go to bed, you sleep, you wake up, mm. you know, face whatever you need to face in that day. And it's just a, a cycle. Mm. And how can someone be at a place where they can say, oh, I need to have a vision. Mm -hmm. I need to have a direction. I need to set goals. What would, would channel someone in that focus or in that direction? Well, first of all, I think mm. one should have a dream. You should mm. have a dream. You know, like I was speaking to someone with my family uh, members yesterday. I said, you know, well, April, what did you want to become mm. as, a, as a child or as a young person? Yes. You know, and, you know, I, yeah, that was the question that I asked. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then I said, you know, are you doing that mm -hmm. which you had planned? Mm. And I said, no, mm. you know, they're not. Mm -hmm. So having these dreams, you know, mm. one should actually think very seriously about it. Mm -hmm. Create that burning desire that mm -hmm. this is what I want to be. Mm -hmm. And by the help of the Almighty God, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And then once you start yes. to actually have those kind of thoughts in your mind, right. God will then surround you with the necessary people to help you to mm -hmm. achieve mm -hmm. that goal, achieve that dream. Because mm -hmm. I heard that Mars Monroe wrote, mm -hmm. you know, the richest place on earth mm -hmm. Is a graveyard. It's the graveyard. Yeah. It's a graveyard. Because, because people, people die yeah. with their visions inside Without, of them mm -hmm. and their Without dreams. Achieving, yeah. But mm -hmm. here today, mm -hmm. that doesn't have to happen to you. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to happen to you. Now, how can someone create a dream? Mm -hmm. Because some people think, um, well, when you're talking about going to bed to sleep and wake up the next morning, <laughs> how does a dream come mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. It comes about from... You know, thinking about the things that you'd like to, the person you'd like to be. Okay. Mm. Who do you visualize? You know, I'm sure you sometimes sit down and think, well, I'd like to be this person. Mm. I like the way this person dresses. I like the position this person has, so on and so forth. Not, you know, wanting to aspire to mm. that, not being jealous, mm. but wanting to aspire to that kind of level. Mm. Maybe you may want to be the Prime Minister mm. of the United Kingdom. Wow. That's a great dream. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. then you start positioning yourself. Mm. Looking at the way, you know, yeah. what it takes to actually become mm. the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. Study politics. Absolutely. Look at, you know, what that kind of involves. Mm. Joining a political party. And then mm. following through. Mm. Even reading autobiographies mm. of great men and women. Mm. Wow. Then you begin right. to develop that dream. Right. To see the path mm. that they took. Yes, absolutely. To achieve yes. what yes. they wanted yes. to achieve. Yes. Fantastic. Mm. That's a fantastic thing. Now... In, in, in a situation where someone um, is not, is probably in a job, mm. okay? Um, they've been in a job for... 10 years, 20 10 years, years? 5 years. It can happen. 20 years, it, yeah. it can happen. How can that person develop themselves to either a better role mm -hmm. or a better job? Mm -hmm. What do they need to do? Okay, first of all, what? The job, J-O-B, mm. it means just <laughs> over broke. Yes. So probably one needs to get out of that <laughs> and get into a position. Okay, what would one do? Mm. One needs to then look at where one would actually like to mm. be. Mm. Look at the training opportunities that are available to help you to develop those skills that you need mm -hmm. to be able to apply for that position mm -hmm. and go work on it. Mm -hmm. right. Set yourself a target. Mm -hmm. I, you know, within six months, I would have finished that course or whatever, mm -hmm. and I would have gained that qualification. Then I can then apply, mm -hmm. or even start applying. Because say, then you can say that I've, you know, I'm on this course, and I believe I'm gaining the necessary skills. So I feel that by the end of this time, I finish this course, I'll be able, I'll be the right person for this mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. So in actual fact, you actually say if you want to be the manager of a de large department store look at how a manager is doing his things yeah. you know make sure that you fully one. the <laughs> successful one absolutely yeah. you know make sure that you have all the courses that mm, you need yeah. to have all the necessary and, skills and yeah. also your personal hygiene and uh, you know making sure that you're smart yeah. you know to, to to fill that 
position. Angela, Angela has really wants to talk about this person. Like, <laughs> I, well, it's important. You know, talk, it's talk, talk to our viewers. Talk to our viewers about it. You know what I want to say. I just want to touch on areas that, if parts of the body are not very, don't smell like flowers. Let's say. Um, please if do go. Mind, they can smell like flowers. Well, if no, if they don't smell like flowers, because that's part of personal hygiene, isn't it? You know, if you have an offensive odor, you know, please, if you don't know how to handle it, you know, go along to the doctors and speak with the doctors, because odors don't just just transpire by themselves. You know, they there might be a bacteria there or something happening. You know, it could be in the nether regions or the armpits, okay, you know. So let's, but so let's yes. put that let's put that in context now with personal mm -hmm. development. Then. Absolutely. Let's put that in context now mm -hmm. with adults. How well, like, you know, that's part of health and safety anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to but one needs to be able to take care of their body mm -hmm. to make sure that, you know, one is smelling fresh as it were. Mm -hmm. because you don't want to be offending your other colleagues or offending your boss. Can mm. that stop someone from progressing? Definitely. definitely. It can. It, it can because, like, for instance, I had a student many years ago who um, my manager told me that she was working in her office and she, you know, sent me a message to say that this person has this uh, personal hygiene problem and could I possibly speak to this individual? And it was a mature person as well. So I had to call that person aside to say, you know, that... The managers pointed like that out well. mm. that you do have mm. this problem, and so you know you need to. And I suggested what one could possibly mm. use to help to eradicate that problem. And I said that I'd be monitoring the whole process to make sure that it is improving. So then you know you know that the person mm. is definitely going to be working on it because they're being monitored. And and actually, mm. it is in every handbook. Mm. Personal hygiene yeah. is in every handbook. You know, it's not something that, you know, you just look, look over. It is very important because you, you are representing that company. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Wherever you go, whatever you say, you are representing that company. And the company would not want you to represent them in a negative way. Absolutely. Well. So it's right. very important. So we need, to, we need to be able to... You know what I came across actually mm -hmm. yesterday? No, a couple of days ago, and um, one of the things that our pastor um, has challenged us yeah. to do is to read. Yes. Excellent. And um, Readers are leaders. Readers yes. are leaders. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at one, uh, a word that dropped in my spirit, mm. man, this morning is that the books that you read, mm. um, it's the books that you read mm -hmm. determines who you allow to speak into your life. Mm -hmm. Because you might not always have the opportunity to sit under a person's message. Mm -hmm. No, that's true. But you can pick up their book in a bookshop. Yes. yes, you can. And this is a very, um, uh, it might not look like a big book, but it's, mm -hmm. um, it's a new book by one of my fathers in the Lord, Achievers Secrets from Dr. Abraham Chikbundu. And what I decided mm -hmm. to do was to use this, not just to read it and put mm -hmm. it down, but to use it as a, a workbook, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, good. So, um, yesterday, amazingly, mm -hmm. the Lord is, is, I mean, after the ordination, one has to, not, not just for myself, but I'll mm -hmm. challenge anyone, you know, to, to look at yourself and where you're going, mm -hmm. you Definitely. know, which is a personal thing that mm -hmm. I do as well. And I challenged myself um, to make sure that I started to read, mm. you know, more. And the other thing was that God gave me a vision, which I'm yet to, to discuss. But I took this book and from chapter mm. one, it talked about setting your goals mm. and writing down the vision and making it plain, yeah. which is mm -hmm. in the word of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you know what I did? I took a pen mm -hmm. and a paper. Yes. And I want you to know that if you are a dreamer mm -hmm. and you want to achieve something, always make sure that a pain and a book is always, in, is always your best friend. Mm. You know, and I sat down in my kitchen. After what I had to do, I did that. I started to write. And by the time I finished writing, mm. I had written four pages. Mm. Excellent. Just mm. from one Amen. of the chapters of yeah. this. Yeah. Mm. Because I decided to use it as a tool yes. instead of just as a literature. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. 
Do you understand? Definitely. And this, I mean, I don't know how you'd be able to get this book, The Achiever's Secret. I'm sure you might be able to get it in a, in a bookshop close to you. But there are other books that lead towards personal development. Mm -hmm. And you need to make an effort to go and search out what is it that I can do or that I can read or I can mm -hmm. listen to. Yeah. Lots of and not to. just that. I think it's you know? also about, you know... Maybe you, you've ca you're, you're come to a, a place in your life where you're actually frustrated. You don't know how to move forward. Go and talk to people. Mm. Don't be shy. You know, speak to people that you haven't spoken to before. Ask them questions. Yeah, definitely. You know, you will, the, if they don't know, they will point you to someone who does know. That's right. You know, and it really is about looking at self. You know, not just focusing on what is out there, but looking at self. Ask yourself why you haven't been able to achieve what you want to do in life. Maybe, for example, you don't have enough money. What do you need mm. to do? Maybe you need to go on a course. You know, don't just sit there and think, poor me. You're not poor, <laughs> you know. Move forward. Amen. Say to yourself, okay, do Amen. I need an IT course? Do I need a PowerPoint course? Amen. Do I need to learn English? Amen. Do I need to learn how to read? You know, the English courses are free in England. And when maths. I, and maths. That's One of right. The things that mm. amaze me is when I meet people, I mean, you don't have to speak like mm. the English man or like the typical mm. British person. Mm. But it amazes me that we as, if, if I'm permitted to say, mm -hmm. um, especially of the black race or African, or, you know, we come into England and people have been here for 20 odd years and they have not made an effort to improve their English. Mm. And people struggle mm. to understand them. Mm. Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. And it 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 it, it does it, it it creates barriers between you and people. Because mm -hmm. what I used to do when I just came to England, I used to just kept I just kept smiling. Yes. Not that I understood what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I just smiled. <laughs> and that's very yeah. warming. <laughs> Uh, to draw people to yes, you. Yeah, yes. I just kept smiling until I was able to understand. Mm. And one of the things that also helped me was the circle of people that I was mm. around mm -hmm. that helped to shape yes. my English, mm. you know. But what's interesting is that somebody asked, asked me, not, I mean, a bit of, a while ago, that if I just travelled home. Yes. I said, no. I said, oh, you sound like you've just come back from home. I said, oh, it's the people that I work with. <laughs> that has affected. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> but what am I saying? Your circle determines who you are going to be tomorrow. Reverend Doris, I just want you to take a moment. that you're actually going to actually mm. uh, uh, meet with. Mm. Yeah. I want you to take a moment just to speak to our viewers and obviously we'll be benefiting from that yes but just give a word of encouragement and can i just you know, use a, a couple of quotes yeah that mm -hmm. i came across today and i'm going yeah. to read them out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the fact is that to do anything in the world worth doing we must stand we must not stand back shivering and thinking of cold and danger but jump in and scramble through as well as you can mm -hmm. and that's from robert cushy Another quote I'm going to read today is all that man achieves and all that he fails to, to achieve is the direct result of his own thoughts. The scripture says, all mm -hmm. that, can you repeat that? Mm -hmm. All that man achieves. All that man, all that man achieves mm -hmm. and all that he fails to achieve. Mm -hmm. And all that he fails to achieve mm -hmm. is the direct result of his own thoughts. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's by James Allen. So to be able to develop, to be able to achieve, it's down to how you Your think. Mm -hmm. The scripture mm -hmm. says, as a man thinketh in his heart, mm -hmm. so is he. Mm -hmm. And I understand by another person, you know, uh, that I listen to very regularly. He said, thoughts become things. <laughs> so if you think about negative things, you'll be attracting more of those negative mm -hmm. things into your life. If you want positive things to happen, you must then focus on mm -hmm. positive. Mm -hmm. And then those positive things will happen. Mm -hmm. And also, I would like to say, you know, don't surround yourself with people that tell you, you can't do this, you can't do that, oh, it will never work for you. Go and try it. That's right. Definitely. Go and try it. Don't give up on yourself. That's right. You never know. Give up. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Stay focused, mm. surround yourself with positive minded persons like mm. yourself. Or even if you're not positive yet and don't have that confidence, speak to somebody. Contact mm. a trainer who can possibly give you that, uh, uh, that training that you kind of need yeah, to absolutely. build up your confidence. Mm. You know, if there's areas of weakness that you don't know how to, to turn those weaknesses mm. into strength, call me and uh, we can discuss and see how, you know, I can help you to achieve those goals, help you to achieve those dreams, help you to be all that God wants you to be. Mm. Mm. Reverend Doris, I just want you to pray for our viewers that God would mm. help them to refocus their minds um, to where they need to go and where they want to go and where they should be going by the mm. grace of God um, before we round up Amen. this afternoon. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for being with us. Lord, I commit all our listeners to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, for that one that is looking for divine direction, Lord, I pray that you remove every cloud, every hindrance from that person's mind. And I pray that you will release the vision helpers, release the vision builders into that person's life right now. Give them the sense of direction in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that I release peace, especially during this time that we're living in. Lord, I release your peace upon your audience today in the name of Jesus. And I pray that before the end of 2010, that truly people will come out with great testimonies to say that the Lord has done this. My confidence has developed. I'm now achieving my goals in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the praise. And we thank you for all that you're doing, for all that you're about to do. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Um, I would just like to hand over to Praise. Um, she's about to do something wonderful for you. you. Just sign over to Praise now. Hallelujah. I'm just going to bless you with a song this afternoon before we sign up. It's a worship song. Um, holy is the Lord. And I just want, I pray that you'll be blessed as you prepare yourself for worship, to attend your worship center tomorrow morning. Make sure you go to worship center and commune with the Lord and with the brethren. And as we have um, blessed you this afternoon, allow yourself to be a blessing to someone. At your feet, the highest place of worship. I humbly bow, yet boldly entering. Tears will flow, but joy is overwhelming. Only in your presence, only. In your presence, in your presence, O oh, Most High, hearts cry to you. In your presence, we cry holy, holy. It's the highest place of worship, humbly bound, yet boldly entering. Tears 
will flow But joy is overwhelming Only in your presence Only in your presence In your presence Almost high, our hearts are dry. Johnny and just say You are mighty. Hallelujah, God is holy. We'll be right back next week with another guest and I hope that you go with God as God go with you. Until then, stay blessed, we love you and bye for now.